are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the New York Yankees. The Astros look for their seventh straight victory next. Walker Bueller will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? This guy here is one of the top strikeout pitchers in all of baseball. Over 200 strikeouts in the season. And this day and age where we don't see pitchers go that deep into games and pitch well over 200 innings, that's saying something. If this guy is on, it could be lights out and lots of Ks. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Altuve. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Set and the pitch. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they enter this one off a loss after winning five of seven prior to that. Yeah, Matty D. And you know one thing you don't want to do here, D. Rowe, you've been on some good teams, not to lose focus at this point of the year to keep the big picture inside because there is a postseason lurking, and it's so easy to get ahead of yourselves and not take the rest of the schedule serious. I think the nice thing for this team is that they won the division. They will for whatever happens get a five game series it's not that one game wild card winner go home this team can prepare themselves to battle and try and win three out of five now batting Michael Brantley first pitch coming here it is slapped hard the opposite way and Brantley will reach he's got a base hit and that'll bring up Alex Brickman as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Well, we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussion at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. And he begins play with a very respectable 35 home runs for the season. The 0 and 1 delivery. Brentley leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know this is one of the guys behind the dish Freddie Ferguson Dan that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players not only pitchers but position players. He makes the younger players he makes them earn their keep. Good running count right here three balls two strikes two outs run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Once again, a 3 2. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Taking it in there is Hicks for the final out of the inning. Astros leave one, and now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. will be on the mound for the Strohs. Dan, any thoughts? Man, he pitched really well in this last one without allowing a single run and picking up the victory. Let's see if he can bring that stuff back to the ballpark with him and make it two really strong starts. Stepping into the box, Lucius Ginn. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he fouls this one off. A 
swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And he drops it. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Well, in his defense, he did have to go a long way to get there, but that's not the problem. The problem is once he arrives, he doesn't catch the dang ball. He knows as well as anybody that he should have brought that one in, and it's going to cost him an error. And we'll see if the pitcher can pick him up. Into the box now, Labor Torres. First shot for him here, and with the season winding down, he's closing in on a league batting title. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And, fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight have run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty V, we're getting a look at a really good team right here, d -Row. The only thing you hope they can do is to stay focused as the season winds down. They're a good team, and it looks like they could go a long way in the postseason. Dan, I've racked my brain trying to figure out what's the best way to go in. Clinch your division early, be playing good baseball, meaningful baseball down the stretch to get into the postseason. Bottom line is it's an 11 12 game sprint when you get in. You want to be. And a base hit is the run will score from third, and the Yankees score first. It's one to nothing. Nice piece of hitting right there. Didn't try and do too much. Fastball, middle cut, places it right back where it came from. So striding in, David Rosario. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. You know, D-World, this guy wants to win a home run title. He needs to pick it up. No dingers in his last 10 games. Yeah, and sometimes that could get in your dome. He has to realize he's had an amazing season so far up until this point. It's only going to take one swing for him to get back on that power surge. The 1 0. This is pulled into right. Reddick is there to put it away for route number one. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the belt, the pitch. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. All rise, Aaron Judge. A two-run shot. 41st home run of the year for him as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. was really close to a long out. The left fielder had a beat on it, and he gave it a great effort, but he couldn't quite bring it back. Instead, it's a trip around the bases. At the plate, Aaron Hicks. As it's grounded sharply to first, and he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time. And that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. What a powerhouse season in the top ten in home runs and runs batted in. He's also one of the most feared hitters in all of baseball. Three runs already home here. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Wow, I think he took it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, and he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. What a terrific season this guy's had. As the season starts winding down, you can look back and say, this guy's been one of the most consistent hitters in baseball all season long. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. A runner on first with two away. Back 
back up the middle. Altuve to his right. He has it over to Nunez for the force, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 3-0 New York. First delivery to him on the way. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Line towards center field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Hey, after that hit right there, Dero, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night, Dan. So coming to the plate, Jed Jerko. And we'll see if he can get out of this little dry spell he's stuck in. Not much offensively coming from him lately. One ball, no strikes to count. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Got it, got it. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And my spotlight's going to shine down on Glaber Torres. He mans the second base position unbelievably, but he can also offer his manager some versatility. The bat plays big time as well, and he has a strong arm. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. As the first pitch here has been high, it's ball one. Reddick, a native of Georgia. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. This would seem like an easy RBI situation. 2-0 count, runner in scoring position, but you have to know there's an open base, and he might be pitching around it. The two and one on its way. Inside ball three. Yeah. You gotta put down. A man at third with one away. Popped him up. Torres backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Eduardo. He's driving in for Houston. Eduardo Nunez. Here's the first pitch to him. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. Yep. Two and one. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And that misses, so it's a full count. Three and two. Stephen Vogt would be next. Payoff pitch home. Fouled away. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing the previous off-speed pitch. Liner toward right center. And that's going to get down out there. In to score, the runner from third. Boy, talking about coming up with a big knock. After that pop-up, it looked like the inning was potentially over. Big two-out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you watch your teammate in front of you miss his pitch. He got a nice pitch to hit right there and pops it up. You could tell he was dejected as he went back to the dugout. All you're trying to do is be a great teammate. Sean Casey always used to say to me, hey, Dero, mix in a good teammate one time. That's exactly what this guy did. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Andujar will put this one away, and the side is retired. 
Astros plate one on a couple of hits. On now to the bottom of the second. The Yankees lead this one three to one. Last half of the second set to go and striding into the plate it'll be Miguel and Duhar. First pitch of the at bat and a half hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way and it's strike one. To third Bregman has it. Throw on to first and one third baseman grounds out to the other one away. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And I want to focus on Jose Altuve. Pound for pound, the best player in big league baseball. A gold glove second baseman, he can do it all. Five tools, the ability to turn a double play with the best of them. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. To the left side, but it's well foul. The average for him coming in at 322. 21 homers and 71 runs batted in. A softly hit ball here, foul off to the left side, and it's strike two now. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. This one's down to third. Bregman gloves it. On to first, and there are two down. Digging in, Lucius Skin. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. First pitch on its way. Line toward right center. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. And he'll make it back to first as the throw won't get him. So a two out single there and gets him a base runner and that leads us to check out the team leaders in hitting here in the final month of the season. And in fact that number is not only the highest in all the American League but is actually the highest in all of baseball. First things first here's a throw over and the runner back safely. And another throw over. A dive, but he's back. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He'll stand in to open things up here in the third. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! So with one away, we'll take a look at the standings here, and it'll show you that these guys have already wrapped up the division race as they've set their sights now on the postseason. Next up for the Strohs, Michael Brantley. He reached on a single in his first truck. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Ah, he's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0 and 2. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Stone cold take right there. That fastball 
very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Pulled toward right center field. And Hicks will settle under this one for the second out. Now batting. The third base Alex. So digging in now, Alex Bregman. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And that misses for ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Shoots this one over to first. A dive. He's got it. He is out. Another look at the fine play at first that concludes matters here in the inning. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Ready now, David Rosario, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. No balls and a strike to count. The wind-up and the 0-1. Check swing here as they'll appeal it down to Eric Summersgill at third, and he says no swing, so it's ball one. 1-1. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline and a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Boy after that base knock right there d -roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tuck staying inside the ball not trying to do too much. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. One down. One out here in the Yankees third inning and that'll bring in the switch hitter Aaron Hicks. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Reddick has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now that is the catcher, Gary Vanquez. So a runner at first with two away. And the next to bat, the Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left oh and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse it's 0 and 2 now made him look silly with that one swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning one left for the Yankees as the lead remains three to one. New inning set to get underway. And here comes the first baseman, Jordan Alvarez. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And this will be fouled away. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stands at number four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. George Springer the next to hit. A 
on the belt, the pitch. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. And he misses with it, one and one. Fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution. If he hits it, there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball. But it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs, too. That's excellent pitching. Here's Jed Jerko now. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here's the 1 1. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. As a look, now the pitch. One run on three hits and two errors thus far for the Astros. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. There's one. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets them out of the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Yankees lead it three to one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding forward, the designated hitter, DJ LeMayhew. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Altuve is there. One pitch, one out. So one away here with the bases empty. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Brantley on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now to the plate, Jose Iglesias. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Line drive to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they hang on to it. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I discussed the Astros' offense with Houston's manager, and he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitter's counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitcher's pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And it's fouled away. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning into a pretty good at-bat. The 2-2 one more time. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Iglesias is up with it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category. He's set. Here it comes. Eduardo Nunez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. The 0 1 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. 
Now batting the catcher, Stephen Vogt. Digging in, Stephen Vogt. He popped out in his first trip. And the pitch. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. One run on three hits and two errors thus far for the Astros. Bullet back up the middle. Hicks is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Astros go down one, two, three, and it remains a three-one ball game. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Lucius Ginn. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And there's one down now. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there, but he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Smoked on the ground up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. You know, D Row, the benchmark of having a great year is 200 hits. How about this guy? Rack up 250 hits on the season so far. Yeah, and you don't do that without just a staunch approach at the plate of using the entire field. This guy can move the ball out of the ballpark, can play line to line, opens up the entire field, no way to defend him. 250 knocks cannot be understated. Standing in now, David Rosario hit hard to the right side. One for two in the ball game thus far. A one pitch on its way, grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Altuve for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Yanks held in check. And it's still three to one. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And then he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Into center field, line drive base hit. Count leverage right there, sitting dead red fastball, and he didn't miss it. Nice swing right there, driving it into the outfield for a knock. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. To Iglesias for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. That's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound. He gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the back to help him wrap up the tough 3 6 1 double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And set to go is the third baseman, Alex Bregman. There's a strike at the knees, 0 1. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. 
Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And he fouls this one off. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Now another one two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long scrambling pitch after pitch making this guy work out on the mound. Here's the pitch on two and two and he'll try to hold up in time but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Astros are down quietly. Score holds it's three to one. Here's big Aaron Judd. He set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. First offering on its way. Uh, couldn't help himself that time as he chases one below the knees at strike one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And a good throw gets him one gun. Good pitch right there to run the two seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as a result. Digging in once again, Aaron Hicks. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. First delivery to him on the way. Right side hit hard. Altuve fields it cleanly. In time to first and there are two away. Two away now in the Yankees sixth. And that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. First offering on its way. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0-2. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Vote gathers. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three, as the lead remains three to one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Three and one to him now. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. 
good. Here's George Springer. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Way late on the fastball for strike one. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The batter, number three. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Jed Jerko. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Shot toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he will pull in the second with a two-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's going to motion for his bullpen here that'll do it for the starter tonight so as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left to board but he cannot lose this one Adam Ottavino will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh Number zero. Adam. so here's Josh Reddick fastball right back to the mound and how about that right out of the bullpen a ground ball on one pitch and the inning is over danger averted following the two out double back with more here on a Tuesday night after this Chris Davinsky gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. Head-to-head -to -head against Chris Davinsky. He's a 318 hitter. D.J. LeMahieu. First pitch coming. Here it is. Wind up and the 0 1. Liner towards second, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Now back, the first eight pitch. Yeah. Here's Miguel Andohar now. Now the pitch. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Jose Iglesias. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Hit hard on the ground is short, and that's through for a hit. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out the ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle end, and he's able to drive that for a nice single. Throw over to the bag, runner back safely. Into the box, Lucius Skin. And he puts it on the ground to second. There is Altuve. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. The Yanks lead one, but they hang on to a three to one lead. 
All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the utility man, Eduardo Nunez. On to the eighth here as a slider is taken to begin the at bat. It's ball one. Now the 1 0. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality A-B and get this line going. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes, yeah. Hit high and deep out to left field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs. He puts himself in scoring position and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Steven Vogt stands in as he looks at a called strike. No hits to this point. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. A pause, and the 0-2 fouled away. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Gin comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first down. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. Unable to find the zone with the slider. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it, but hey, that's the life of an umpire. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? Right? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. It's the Yankees three, and the Astros one. Hector Rondon is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30, Hector Rondon. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Glaber Torres. First pitch on its way. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Solo shot here to left. Home run number 57 thus far. As the Yankees have taken a 4-1 lead. A three-run deficit in the bottom of the eighth is tough for a visiting team to overcome. But they've got three outs left. And after the homer, they're going to need to string together some hits to make a game of this thing. David Rosario as he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Chased a low ball there and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Rondon has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. 
hit back up the middle. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 39, Aaron. So here's the cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. He was a ground out victim last time up. First offering on its way. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. His second home run of the game as they stretch the lead to 5-1. Well, he turns on this thing and drives it out, extending the lead here to four in the bottom of the eighth. I wouldn't be surprised if that keeps the closer in the bullpen for now. No need to bring him in a non-save situation. Let him relax unless something happens at the top of the ninth that warrants getting him up. Good pitcher coming on now as we get a look at the side armor, Joe Smith. Joe. At the plate now, Aaron Hicks. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. In now, Gary Sanchez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Where this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan. What does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We've played eight full. The Yankees are out in front, five to one. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Hit weakly back to the mound. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. A reminder that coming up after the ball game tonight, we'll have full highlights of the game exclusively right here on the show. Coming to the plate now, Jordan Alvarez. He flew out in his last at bat. Pitch on the way. ground ball to third and that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit the center fielder number two George Springer. to the plate now George Springer this will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one he's got a hit in three at bats to this point Here's the 0-1. In there, strike two. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Here's a swing and a shot back up the middle. Well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now batting. The designated hitter. Jed Jukov. 
Next will be the designated hitter, Jed Jerko. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First pitch on its way. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The 0 and 1 delivery fouled off. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Last strike now for Houston. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, this might not have been what he expected. I'm not sure he expected to have to go seven outs to get the save, but hey, he did, and he iced the victory. Tonight's game comes to an end. Five to one, the final score. New York hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Walker Bueller gets to that magic number, 20 wins on the season. Brad Peacock pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Adam Ottavino turns in two and a third out of the bullpen to earn the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Astros, one run, seven hits, two errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 51 minutes. Our paid attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 47,300 guys. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.